Number 16. A gymnast is attempting to perform splits. From the information given in figure 9.35, calculate the magnitude and direction of the force exerted on each foot by the floor. All right. So um, it's a little, uh, there's a couple of ways to view this problem. Um, one way to view the problem is uh, saying that the floor is exerting a force directly up, all right, on her foot. Now, if that's the case, in terms of my picture over here, I basically just took what's over here and just created a little physics diagram out of it. Um, that would be represented as this particular vector over here, right? This would be, let's call this the normal force of that particular location. And then this would be, for, I mean, for the left foot, and this would be the normal force produced, you know, for the right foot. And then we also know that the gymnast has a certain weight right so the weight it told us was 700 newtons so if that's the case then this weight is going to be 700 newtons and it's pointing directly down so we know that the sum of the forces the system is in equilibrium we know that the sum of the forces uh in the y direction specifically because those are all the y forces will equal zero and therefore we can write fn plus fn minus w will equal zero in other words, 2FN will equal the weight. So FN will be equal to the weight, which is 700 over 2. So the normal force would then be, on each foot, the force would be uh, 350 directly up. That would be the answer. All right, now, I don't, now that's the case if it were um, pointing directly up. But let's assume that that's not the case. I don't know if that is or not because they weren't very clear, so let's reproduce another picture. Let's erase these now, okay? Let's pretend that they were asking for, um, you know, something, let's say, uh, let's say they wanted us to find now the um, force produced by the floor, and let's say the force is being directed, you know, directly parallel to her leg, okay? Let's call this now the normal force. So if that's the case, it becomes a little more complicated, but it's not very complicated whatsoever. So two things, we would have to first find the angle in here. All right, now the angle we can find by, we know the distances, right? We, we know this particular height right here, 0 0.3, and we also know this particular distance of 0.9. Therefore, it creates a right triangle, so I can simply say that to find this theta, it would be the opposite over the adjacent side, right? So thinking about that, that that theta would be equal to the tangent the inverse tangent, that is, of 0.3 over 0.9. I'm not going to calculate it, but this would be the value if you plug it into the calculator. Now, let me take this into account. Now, remember, this is the force on one of the legs. So to call this 700 now wouldn't be technically correct. What I would want to do, I mean, we could do that, and I could detail this side as well, or I could just look at this, uh, at this as half of a picture, and I'm just going to do that because it's going to be easier to view. I'm going to say that the weight now supported by this one foot should be 350 newtons, right? Okay, so that being the case, right, now I can create another triangle. I mean, it's not, it's the same triangle, but now I can think about this triangle in a different way by using the forces. So I know this side of the triangle, that's going to be the force of 350. I know this angle I just solved for it here. And therefore, I can figure out the hypotenuse, right? That would be essentially sine. So now I'm going to write the sine of my angle, which is this value, will equal that opposite side, which was 350 newtons, all over the normal force. Solving for the normal force, it would simply be 350, 350 over then the theta value, which is the found by taking the inverse tangent of, oops, one second divided by the sine of the angle, which is found by taking the inverse tangent of 0 0.3 over 0 0.9. And when we do that, we can get our answer there. So let's see what that is now. So that being the case, um, so we have 350 divided by now parentheses sine, and then the of the inverse tangent of 0.3 over 0.9. And we get a value of I'm going to round 1.11 times 10 raised to the third newtons, okay? So that would be the force then if the floor is acting parallel, you know, to the 
to the leg. Now, I don't know which is the case. I mean, most likely this is the case um, just because, I mean, why would they have given us all these, um, you know, lengths and heights and stuff? However, they might have just given it because, you know, trying to fool us. And maybe it is this, you know, this simple. It's really hard to tell what, you know, what um, force they wanted. Is the force exerted on each foot? Yeah, most likely it's this particular force. I shouldn't have called this normal force here, I'm just realizing, because normal force is technically always perpendicular to the ground. So let's just call that the overall force. So I'm pretty sure it's this particular case. All right, number number two. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If this video helped, please remember to subscribe. Tell your friends, that'd be great. Hit the like button if you want, and I'll see you in the next question. Have a great day.